It's about 8.30 in the morning on Wednesday, February 15th, 2023. Uh, we're past the halfway point of February, so. Uh, this Thursday night and Friday night, it might get below freezing, but the days should be well above 50. So I'm not too concerned about any freezing. Um, yeah, so we're, I think we're done with winter. Um, unless there's a surprise in March or something. There's a little number 20. So I fed them again. Two buckets of feed per trough, six buckets total. They filled the buckets about two thirds full of feed and then uh, mixed it with water. <coughs> It's a lot of work <laughs> bringing the feed out here to them. I think it's worth it though, especially because I want to get them start start getting them fat. Hopefully, we'll have uh, they'll leave the grass a little bit alone. I, my plan isn't quite working as I planned though. It seems they still attack the grass and. Let's see where that wire was. I think it was right here somewhere. It's hard to tell because there isn't a lot of grass in this part of the row. It's not as good as it was in the beginning part near my neighbor's pasture. Uh, I did notice there's a ton of manure patties. I was happy about that. Um, I want them to deposit their manure in this part of the pasture. So I think the feed is a good excuse to get them out here and keep them out here. Right now the temperature, when I left the house about 30 minutes ago, it was it said it was 50 degrees. But uh, it's too warm to, to work in a jacket. Only 50 degrees is, is pretty cold. The sun's bright and the sun's warm. I'm thinking in the sunlight here, I feel like it's 68 at least. It's room temperature. It's just a little bit chilly. It could be a little warmer. Look at those flies. Yeah, the feed's still mixed in the manure. You can see kernels of corn and stuff like that. Get out of there, flies. The flies are rapidly multiplying. They're gonna, they get to the manure so they can lay their eggs. And a couple days later, the eggs will hatch. And then I think it's like a week or so after that, the larvae hatch into flies. It's a never-ending battle, is it? Like so many things, it's not about killing the pest or the weed. It's about overwhelming it with good things. <clears throat> if my cows get a nice oily coat, the flies will have a hard time landing on them. These cows are not those kind of cows, though. So... Some of them are. Number 10 is pretty slick. This is the new pasture, obviously. Um, there's grass. Uh, the grass isn't very tall. Over there, the grass is kind of absent. It looks like a bunch of dead summer grass with the hair, Bermuda, whatever it is. So, yeah. It's supposed to rain again today, another third of an inch. I put off uh, looking at the rain meter. Probably this afternoon or evening, I'll take a look at it, see what it says. But anyway, not a lot of mooing. Uh, even before I moved them, they weren't complaining. So I assume that they're getting everything they want, except hay, of course. They would like hay. And if I had hay, I'd give it to them. I'm going to stockpile a bunch of hay this year. And, uh, and then I'll just, I'll use the old hay for times like this when the grass is starting to grow, but, uh, they still need the roughage. So, and you can see that even with all this feed, they're still hollow a little bit. Well, tomorrow evening, I'm going to move them to a new row again. And uh, they'll probably have plenty of grass, at least for that roof. 
There's 21. Oh my goodness, 21 is so big. You know, I've never really noticed that 21 is more aggressive than the others or more pushy. But somehow she's the one that does the best. I, I don't know what it is about 21. Maybe it's the fact that she doesn't have a calf nursing on her. <clears throat> I don't know. I did not plan to have young calves right now. I was planning them to be all open. And then uh, breed them in June. So, that was my plan. Just survive the drought, survive the winter, come into spring, and then hopefully fatten them up and get them healthy enough they can breed in June. That was my plan. There's number 10. Number 10 had a slick coat last year. Flies really didn't bother her. She's a half Brahmin. So, half ink is half Brahmin. Hopefully she'll get that slick coat again. <coughs> All right, guys, I got to go feed the ducks. Have a great day. Take care and bye-bye.